You should do more. You're wasting your Come life. On. You should work hard. There. So look, you could have done look at your friends. So much where you are now. now. They accomplished You're lazy. Everything. Are you even serious about that? What are you, you doing should work harder. You're behind. There's no such thing as being behind in life. There's only where you are on the path that you're creating. To be behind means to be behind someone walking the same path as you. No one is walking the same path as you. Success, accomplishments, life choices, life paths and decisions of other people don't determine your value and worth. When someone is accomplishing something, when someone is successful, it doesn't mean that you're not a worthy human being. It doesn't mean that you are behind. It doesn't mean that someone is ahead of you. To find calm and peace in the midst of the chaos and amount of information that we consume nowadays, what is important is to define what success means to you. Because it gives the perspective. It might turn out that the people that you're comparing yourself to might have a different definition of success. And it's especially helpful when you feel the peer pressure and when you feel like all of your friends are doing something like focusing on career, starting family, building houses and all of that stuff. And they seem like they have their life together, which spoiler alert, not many people actually have their life together and everyone is struggling from time to time. So it's it's completely normal. And success is not only about career and money and perfect house and perfect life. It is about living the life you feel the most content with. But what if the person I feel behind is not someone else, but myself? You might ask yourself this question thinking about all of the things that you could done differently. And as a wise man said, it is what it is. Where you could be is just a concept because you don't really know what would happen if you would make changes in the past. And this is very important to understand because the past is in the past and you cannot influence it. There is no amount of thinking that can change it. And what is very powerful to learn is how to accept the things as they are. And learning how to accept the past and previous choices can bring you a peace of mind while you will try to change your reality. Because acceptance of the things as they are doesn't mean that you cannot change. Feeling as we are left behind by ourselves can be also connected with the situation when we are detouring from our path and we feel like this is not a place that I want to be. It can be useful to view it as something important because it gives the opportunity to re-evaluate, to actually feel more certain what we want to do with life and what is our definition of success. And when we are in tune with ourselves and we are listening to ourselves, even if we take the detour, our intuition works kind of like GPS. So no matter if you will take a wrong turn, the GPS will redirect you again to your path and your destination. And I find this analogy very useful because it means that sometimes you can have a setback and sometimes you can take a wrong turn. But as long as you stay connected to yourself, you're gonna find a way back to the life that you wanna live. Days like we feel behind in life happen and we would have to live in complete isolation to not feel that way sometimes and to not compare ourselves to other people, especially with the time that we live in and especially what we can see on the internet where people are showing only the highlights of their life and there is this huge wave of the videos on YouTube about how to get ahead of 99% of people in life. And I hope that during watching this video you get this sense of understanding that there is really nothing like ahead and behind because everyone has their own story to tell. But although we understand it on the logical level in our brain, sometimes we just can't help to feel that way. And personally I experience those days quite often recently when I feel this amount of pressure 
and feeling like oh, I'm really behind and I'm really not enough and I get stuck sometimes in thinking like that and I just want to share what I do, uh, what helps me in those kind of situations if you feel this way sometimes as well. So the first thing I try to do is to limit social media and amount of information that is coming to my brain and it is really helpful because it helps me to come back to myself and to actually take a deep breath. And when I find myself comparing to a particular person, I try to acknowledge the whole story of someone and the whole story of me. And what I found really helpful is to turn envy into inspiration. So instead of making myself feel worse because of this person, I try to feel inspired. I try to find the lesson that I can learn. I try to find something that would bring value. And this is a difference in a mindset. I try to focus my attention on the things that will make me feel better. So it's all of those small things like taking care of health and quality of relationships and all of those small little choices and details that will bring me the balance and peace of mind and feeling relaxed because there is a lot of pressure in this world and uh, generally it's not easy to be a human so everything that will make me feel better i'm gonna take it i'm gonna do it because this life and this moment is the only one that we have so you gotta do what you gotta do to just not get crazy so i hope this video helped you to ground yourself and remember that you are enough you're doing enough and it's gonna be okay